<laughs> Greetings, peons. It is I, the instructor, and I broadcast this message to you, the citizens of Telaria A, because Wizards of the Coast has done something so outrageous, so festive, so jolly, that we must do everything in our power to ruin it. As you know, Popper is one of my most hated formats. Curse its highly affordable, highly enjoyable legacy light gameplay. An ingrown toenail upon my foot, to be sure. But there is another format that I loathe, Standard Popper. <laughs> and Wizards of the Coast has decided that until January 4th, Standard Popper events will be completely free on Magic Arena, which is itself a completely free way to play Magic the Gathering. And that's not all, it gets better, which for us is worse. They are buying our affection with popper prizes of alternate art Lanawar elves and Firemind's experiments just for playing in this free event. <sighs> Such generosity and artful delight sickens my cold black heart, and thus we must ruin this event for all who would participate. And that is why I come before you today with an idea. A deck so evil in its simplicity, so near free in its affordability, and so disgusting to play against that it'll make everyone you are paired off against simply loathe playing Popper, even in this free event. I speak, of course, of Rat Colony. <laughs> rat Colony is a common card. A 2-1 rat for one and a black. Rat Colony has two deliciously devious lines of text. Rat Colony gets plus one plus zero for each other rat you control. And a deck can have any number of cards named Rat Colony. So you can have five, six, 36 rat colony in your deck. Best of all, on Magic Arena, you only need to own four copies, and after that, each additional rat colony that you wish to add to your deck is completely free. So you do not need 36 rat colonies to have 36 rat colonies. You just need four. Four common, and the deck then builds itself. As the rat colony grows, so too does your opponent's agitation. But believe it or not, there's more to rat colony than just 36 rat colonies and 24 swamps. has a host of options for removal and other effects. The two most common, pun intended, are duress and divest. There's no better turn one before your rat colony has begun than to divest or duress your opponent, stripping key spells from their hand. Since Rat Colony needs two mana, getting a Divest or Duress for turns one, three, and possibly five gives you something effective and best of all annoying to do to your opponent, helping the steady progress of your colony's growth. Filthy fun for everyone, except of course, your opponent. <laughs> The 
The other options for black removal are Dead Weight, another perfectly priced one mana card that makes keeping creatures on the board far too hard for your opponent, and A Moment of Craving, which while it costs an extra mana than Dead Weight, has the bonus of gaining you two life and being an instant of combat trickery. The key to Rat Colony is, believe it or not, resource management, knowing when to grow and when to attack. Depending on your opponent's deck, you must choose between building up a giant ball of rats and swinging one huge 10-1 in a turn until the opponent relents, or going full pestilence and swinging with everything to exhaust their defenses or just gnaw them down to the bones in tears. In fact, a very common win for Rat Colony is your opponent just flat out conceding to get away from you. Something that I have found even other Rat Colony decks tend to do. Delightful. Now then, you peons are probably already saying, oh, but what about 1-1 one, one chumps blocking our rats for days? Well, there's a solution to this as well. My favorite being to splash red for a card called Warlord's Fury. Warlord's Fury is a single red mana and it provides your creatures, all of them, with first strike and replaces itself. Not bad value at common and not bad for our onslaught of rats. The splash for Warlord's Fury is not high. Four to five mountains will ensure you can cast it when you need it, which is usually later game. And it also opens up the door to red support spells if you want to go full on Rakdos for everything from Gravitic Punch for a game ender to Cosmotronic Wave to wipe the opponent's board and swing in with everything for the kill. In the end, no. Rats is not the best deck in Standard Popper. Get ready to lose, mostly to those infuriatingly efficient Boros lists. Ugh. But you're not playing Rats to 5-0, although you can indeed do so. No. This is a list to make your opponents suffer, to make Wizards of the Coast staff wish they had thought ahead to ban Rat Colony, to simply embrace your evil half and let off some steam this holiday season. And for those purposes, you'll find no better deck, especially since all you need are four copies of Rat Colony to build and play it on Arena. I hope very much this video has been of no help to you. I now return you to your regular programming where that pathetic academic, the professor, will go over deck boxes and card sleeves and other insufferable accessories ad nauseum. Enjoy the doldrum. And this video is brought to you by my and many other people's local game store, Card Kingdom, a brick and mortar pillar of this community, as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. These are the people that keep Talarian Community College going and growing strong. So thank you.